r slash ask reddit what unsolved mystery would you like to be explained in your lifetime the escape from alcatraz i think they made it supposedly flowers were sent to their mother every mother's day after they escaped two to all women were seen at their mom's funeral and other hints suggest they are alive i need to know what actually happened all the who what where when why and how ray epstein's murder and who all the pedas are I really hope that justice is served to everybody involved, to show that you can't get away with it no matter how powerful you are. I'd love it if someone found Forrest Fenn's treasure. To explain, Forrest Fenn was a gentleman with some serious cash. He ended up having a cancer scare and being told he was terminal. So he buried some of his bonds gold etc. in a cache and wrote a poem with clues on how to find it. Just like old timey pirates or what have you. He ended up surviving the cancer and doesn't really give any hints on the treasure. Except to say that he goes out like once every few years to make sure it's still buried in the same spot and it always is. That's how he knows nobody has found it yet. Are we alone in the universe? I 100% believe in intelligent life. Would be nice to see it confirmed. Doesn't even have to be intelligent. Just proof of life. Me too. I would shit myself just at some fossilized alien bacteria or something. Malaysia airline flight missing. As kid I was on some giant, paid, playground made out of cubes with various activities connected together. In 3D. I panicked because I got in some sort of loop with literally no way out. No matter what way I picked I kept coming back to same spot. Firefighters were called. Actually, I wanna know what the hell happened. Kids can squeeze through tiny gaps if they really put their minds to it. It's possible that you squeezed through to an otherwise inaccessible part of the play area and then forgot you had done so. What happened to my friend Daniel? He went missing during our freshman year of college. Over winter break. He was back home in California. He left his keys at home and walked away. He's never been seen since. I know he's probably dead, but a little part of me has always wondered if someone took him, or if something happened and he's alive, and I can't give up that hope until I know he's not alive. Because what if he is and no one believes anymore? Are you really alive if no one believes you are? I had a friend disappear a few years ago, walked out of a bar and was never seen again. He didn't drive, so he was either on foot or hitched a ride. Police searched all over the area with cadaver dogs. Nothing turned up. Lots of people said he's probably dead but I won't believe it until the body is found. I know something about him that maybe others don't. He slept rough sometimes. When he was stressed, I saw him walking down an alley once. Totally filthy and obviously had been sleeping outside for a few days. He could have easily hitched a ride far away and lived homeless in another town somewhere. I think this is what happened to some homeless people. They had a mental break. Gave up on living a normal life. Moved to another town where nobody knows them and they just exist anonymously. I have a classmate from high school who has an older sister that has been missing for 10 or 11 years now. I would like for this case to be solved so her family has some closure. The cure for Alzheimer's. Preferably before I turn 40. Dark matter. WTF was it cancelled it was so good. Just kidding. I want to know WTF dark matter is. There's a few murderers and disappearances I'm curious about. But they've been brought up already. So I'll say. The Voynich manuscript. The materials used have been proven to be from the correct time period. But it's written in a still completely unknown language. And has yet to be even partly decoded. I guess. Chances are. It's medieval medical astronomical book. Also the Tanam Shud case. Unknown body found on an Australian beach. No sign of foul play or drowning. And had a strange coded message in his pocket. The body was found in 1948. He's never been identified. If I remember correctly. The labels had been removed from his clothes. And he didn't seem to be from the area. The John Bennett Ramsey murder. There's a few murders I wish would be solved in my lifetime. The Black Dahlia and the disappearance of the Beaumont children are at the top of this list along with John Bennett and Maddie McCann. William Tyrell. Also sad. Wow I never heard of the disappearance of the Beaumont children so I read up on it. Super sad. The purpose of the Night King. DB Cooper or Jack the Ripper. IDK if they have been. Jack the Ripper hasn't nor. Most likely, 
will at this point, although he is probably my pick as well. Really any unsolved serial high profile killing would be interesting to see closed. Where were humans before ancient Suma slash Mesopotamia? Or, what happened to the people of Roanoke Island? Or, for God's sake, what happened to Amelia Earhart? With Roanoke, the name of a local tribe was written on the walls, and a local tribe suddenly started having blonde haired kids after the colony disappeared. With Earhart human remains and evidence of an American in a survival situation at around the right time were found on an island southeast of her last known destination. Unfortunately they were found by a rather disreputable treasure hunter so most of the archaeological evidence was lost and the bones were so badly degraded that they think that a turtle's bones got mixed in with the human bones. When I was little I wandered off from my parents at a storytelling festival. When I turned back up I had some type of mild wound on my hand and all I would say about it was baby cow bit me down there while pointing toward the nearby river. To this day we have no idea what bit me. We lived in Florida at the time so it could have been pretty much anything. Except for a cow since there were no farms nearby. Maybe a dog. I'd like to know what lies beyond a black hole. After entering the event horizon. What lies in there? Nobody knows. I'd like to know. If I am correct in saying a black hole is just a really strong gravitational force that's been compressed super small, then I'd say there is no beyond. You just pulled into the center of it like it's a singularity and then you're stuck there forever compressed a ton. With everything else that's stuck in there and also compressed super small. What truly happens after death? What happens to our consciousness? Is there nothingness? Just as there was before we were born? Or do we actually go to some other place? The good news is we are all going to find out. The assassinations of JFK and RFK. Delphi murders. Is this the one that involves the two girls that filmed a man on a bridge on their snapchat? Sounds familiar. OMFG that one is so frustrating because they have a clear shot of the guy and his voice recorded. He must be some serious off the grid weirdo if nobody has recognized him. The Max Headroom Broadcast Signal Intrusion of November 22, 1987. The murder of Jenny Lo Chang at San Francisco State University in 1977. She was found naked and stabbed to death in a locked reading room of the J. Paul Leonard Library that only school staff and faculty had access to. Many speculate that it was the Zodiac Killer because of the similar circumstances around the murder, but to this day has not been solved. I'm currently a cinema student at SFSU doing a video project about the whole thing and I'd love to see if anything can be uncovered using new DNA tools. I am a college student at this school right now. I will be at that library tomorrow. Funny thing is, I am also a film production cinema major and if you maybe wanna collaborate on this project I'm super interested. Talk about a ducking coincidence. I would like the mystery of the Voynich manuscript to be solved. For those uninitiated, it is a manuscript dated to early 15th century, written in an unknown language and containing illustrations of alien plants. It also shows no connection to any other texts or languages, but the text and drawings are so detailed that people doubt it was the work of some random guy. Obviously, some people think it was done by aliens but it's really interesting. Kyron Horman went missing when I was in 5th grade, he was in 2nd grade. He went to a different elementary school than me, but everyone in the Portland area knew about him, and still will if you mention his name. There were signs everywhere for him, and you occasionally still see them around. He'd be 17 now. It's largely believed his stepmother had something to do with his disappearance, but there's been no evidence to suggest what happened to him. Portland remembers him, and we want to know where he is. The existence of aliens. I want some rock solid proof that they're real, not some conspiracy theorists telling me they exist. What the deal was with all those people dressing up as clowns a couple of years ago? Who Jack the Ripper was? Who the Zodiac Killer was is? Because theoretically, they could still be alive. And what happened to John Bennett Ramsey? The Femi Paradox. Given that the universe is so old and massive, and life's proclivity to adapt and spread, why do we not see unambiguous evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence? Are we actually first in our surrounding area? If so, why didn't a technological civilization develop a billion years ago? 
D.B. Cooper. I worked with a woman who was absolutely certain, and not kidding at all, that a family member of hers was D.B. Cooper and I really want to know if she way right. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.